Hey, it's X-Pac. Just keep walking, we don't have time. We always have time for X-Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey. Pac, what's going on? Hey guys, looking good. You too. Thanks, I'm on this new mustard only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's interesting. But enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? Anyway, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. So, thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps back then, no offense. No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. You can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, and you're gonna help me get there. Deal? Got it. We are gonna miss oh. you so much. When did you get there? I just had to be close to you one more time. It, it feels like yesterday we got that call, there was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up and going off to college. I, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I know. Hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean, a, a big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart about the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that free beach trip in no time. Hey, maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, drive safe. This is the part where you get out of the car. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver! Do you believe this? We're finally doing it. Our very first list item. Train at the dungeon. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is gonna be cool. I know. Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we.
right. Time for a road trip game. If you could face anyone who trained in Calgary in a dream match, who would it be? Isn't it a little early for road trip games? We still have like 2,000 miles to go. Come on, I'll get you started with some options. How about Bret Hart, Jake the Snake, or Rowdy Roddy Piper? That would be so cool to face a legend like that. Could you imagine? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 225 pounds, the superstar. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael. Yeah. Byron, he certainly seems to be showing more pride of late, wouldn't you say? I would, Michael, but he's got to be careful. There are more than a few whispers backstage about that pride possibly bordering on arrogance. You start coming up with dream match scenarios? Well, these two facing each other is exactly that. These are certainly two of the top names to ever pass through the Great White North. Well, I'm on a long drive. I'm mostly just thinking about how grateful I am to be Byron Free at the time. Ah, uh, you know you missed me. Not a chance. Oh, Stomping. Ouch. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. And finds a counter. Picture perfect drop kick. Here's Bret Hart on the defensive. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Oh, nasty impact. Favor, just producing an onslaught. 
Big boom. It's not wise for a WWE superstar to exchange holds with Bret Hart. The Hitman's technical expertise is without equal and can torture an opponent over the course of a matchup. There are so many ways Bret Hart can inflict damage on someone, Michael. Just look at when the Hitman wraps his opponent around the ring post in the figure four leg lock. Down the apron! The hardest part of the ring. One. Hooked him up. High angle Two. belly to back suplex. Three. This is just going to be physical. There's no other way to describe Four. it. Five. There's going to be a lot of offense in this. Gary, right in the ear. Things are beginning to not look good for Bret Hart, folks. I'm not sure how he's even standing. We've seen Bret Hart make some big comebacks before, and he'll need to do it again. Yeah, that and a miracle. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Bret Hart with a nice reversal. Close line over the top rope. All the way to the floor. He weaves out of the way. Suplex. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Big elbow. Uh oh, no, don't do this. Don't do this. And Bret Hart slips out of harm's way. So quick. He's looking banged up here, guys. Oh, what a back elbow. Bang! Vicious. A great... Uh-oh. We might be looking at a rare hit. Shoulders down! One, two, three! What a way to win a singles match. Here is your winner, the Superstar! That was a big pinfall victory right there. Oh, looks like Brett's opponent was even better than the best there ever will be. <laughs> What a match here from Miami. Thanks to all of you for joining us tonight.